So, good morning, y'all. I am sitting in a closet, six o'clock in the morning. I have some catching up to do with you guys. I don't know where this vlog is gonna go or if it's ever gonna go anywhere, but I was gonna record it just in case. So to play catch up with you guys, if you don't know, I've got two kids, Bentley and Baylor, with my husband Garrett, and they're both IVF babies. We learned very early on in our marriage that Garrett had male factor infertility and that natural pregnancy was next to no chance of happening for us. So now we don't have any embryos in the freezer and we decided we weren't doing IVF again for a, a few reasons, but I've always dreamed of having like a natural pregnancy and you hear people do it after IVF. And so I've just kind of been banking on that. Like, I know that doesn't make any sense. I felt like if I would choose to get pregnant naturally, then I would 100% be so excited and it would be a sign that like I deserved more kids and that it was something that was meant for me to have more kids because I feel like IVF, you're kind of forcing it, although it doesn't have to work. It's more like you choosing to bring a child into this world versus like a child choosing you. I know that doesn't make any sense, but that's how it works in my head. Recently we decided that we want a family bad enough, like our family to grow bad enough that we want to do IVF again. So today's December 29th and about a month ago, a little less than a month ago, we went to two different fertility centers to decide what we wanted to do next. We ended up deciding that we wanted the original fertility center to do our procedure. So then we got some tests done. I did a saline sonogram, but I did say, I don't want to take any birth control right now. I'll take birth control starting next month, but I don't want to do it like starting today. I want to give myself a chance for that natural pregnancy at least one more month. Although we know it's a dream. So I picked up my breast control. I have it. Um, I was just starting on day three of my period. Today, I am four days late for my period. And so I decided to take some, some GP tests and they've been negative. But last night, I took this test. And like even looking at it now, it's kind of ridiculous. Like I, there's no sense in showing you this. And like, I thought about hiding it from Garrett because I, if I was ever pregnant naturally, like. I've always dreamed about how I would tell Garrett. But, like, there could be a line here. I know it could be the evaporation line. I've been in this infertility process long enough to know that you can have line eyes and you can see evap lines and it can be a false, like, I know these things. So I'm trying not to get my hopes up, but I didn't sleep a wink last night because what if it was? But then I came up here this morning, like, to do this video after thinking about it all night long. And then I was kind of, like, less confident. So I don't really think that it's going to be positive. But I was... I will video anyways. I don't know what I would do if it was. That would be insane. And I was really pumped up about it last night and it really like got my hopes up, which I haven't done that in a long, like I usually don't get my hopes up because it's usually not even a chance of being a line. But there's definitely a chance. Like I see, I see what I think I saw like as a line. Anyways, that was really diluted, diluted pee from last night. I took two pregnancy tests this morning and um, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm going to be sad right now because I was pumped all night long. But maybe I can go back to bed if I am sad. Okay. I'm going to say that these are negative. Yeah, like I'm pretty sure that these are probably negative. See, I shouldn't have got my hopes up. Shouldn't have started this whole thing. But makes me feel sick. Okay, so, well, you know I tried. You got the history, you got where I'm at. Still in my head apparently thinking I could be pregnant actually. I know it's not realistic, but now my body's just late. You know when people are infertile, they shouldn't be allowed to have late periods because it really just messes with them. Okay, checking out. Good morning. I'm back in the closet. Ugh, I'm scared. Um, no real advancements. But I still kind of feel like there's a line there. And I don't know if it's these cheapy tests or what. Like, it could definitely be because they're so cheap. But for me, I'm like, well, there's part of a line there. So it could be and I don't want to give out all hope, but I also don't want to have hope because like I'm five days late today. Typically, if you're five days late for your period, you should be getting a strong positive if you are pregnant. So I don't know. I'm not getting overly excited, but I just, I don't know. I want to find out what's going on in the three different types of pregnancy tests this morning just to see. So now we're going to look and see what they say. Oh, I, hate, I feel like so sick. Like I just hate this whole process. I just want to know what's going on. I really don't see a line on this one today, and this is the one that I've been seeing lines on the most. 
don't know what's going on with my body, y'all. Like, why am I not starting my period? Like, why have there been these really faint lines? Like, I'm not crazy. There's really been really faint lines. Maybe I am crazy because I don't really see them. Maybe it's like this lining. If I was pregnant, like five days post pregnant, like, I should see lines by now. So, maybe this is my official loss of hope. I think we're gonna stick with it now because I'm not pregnant, but I can't even start IVF because I'm not getting my period, so. What did you say when mommy was going to take my medicine? You can't eat the blue pill. It's going to make you not have a baby. You want mommy to have a baby? Yes. Hey y'all, so we did not get the natural pregnancy that I was dreaming of, but that's okay. We are going to move forward with making some more babies. It's just going to take a little bit of science, so we're starting the process. There's no great big black thing called cyst, so you would good, good for go. I will fight. I will fight for you. I always do until my heart is black and blue. since I spoke to the camera so I just wanted to update you guys on where things are at right now and how is everything going in IVF so we had a baseline ultrasound um, not yesterday but the Friday before yesterday where they determined that I was ready to go for IVF and then on Sunday I started stimulation medication so I did started 75 units of Minipure in the morning and 112.5 units of Gonalef in the evening and that's been going well. I did my follow-up ultrasound on Wednesday and with blood work and then blood work and ultrasound on Friday. Everything, my body's just funding very quickly to the meds, so they wanted to see me again. So it's Saturday, 8 a.m. on Saturday, and here I am. But, um, so today we will see how they're growing and maybe schedule an egg retrieval date or maybe I'll have another ultrasound and blood work on Monday before they do that. So we will see how that goes. Um, we said we were never doing IVF again and so we haven't told our family and friends that we are doing IVF again. Um, we're keeping it more private this time. I don't really want anybody's opinion on us having more kids or like not that I think anybody would be negative about it but I just like keeping it to ourselves. Um, but I don't really just want only three kids. I want four kids at least and so we might consider transferring two because if I could have four kids and be done having them by 30 that would be ideal but I'm 30 next year so we would need to do that quickly so twins would be the answer to that um I'm not sure if we would tell our family if we got pregnant with twins there's a lot of unknowns I don't know if our doctor would even allow us to transfer two so we're kind of figuring this out as we go um but I'm gonna go inside get checked and see how everything's looking Anybody here? Three. Two? Mm-hmm. Okay, there's some. Put it in. Can I push it? Can I push it? Yeah. Oh. Thank you. Yeah. The next one. Okay. 
Okay, you push it? Mm-hmm. Slowly. We had a successful egg retrieval. 15 eggs were retrieved, 14 of them were mature, 11 of them fertilized, and then we learned that only two of them had made them to day five where they were biopsied and sent off for genetic testing. Thankfully, both of the embryos sent off for testing came back normal, and we then had a difficult decision to make as we had two embryos we only wanted to do one cycle of IVF. We knew we've always wanted twins ever since starting this IVF pro process. We also knew that there are risks to having twins and twin pregnancies. We were sat down by a doctor and explained all of the risks associated with transferring two, but ultimately the decision was ours. We decided that we were comfortable with transferring two to reach our family goal of four kids and to give both babies a chance at being born. transfer day. Do you want mommy to have another baby? Yes. Yes? Do you think it'll be a boy baby or a girl baby? Or one baby or two babies? Boy. A boy? One boy or two boys? Two boys. Two more boys? Oh my goodness. Are you excited? Yeah. Love you. Love you. Alright, Baylor. It's transfer day. Do you want mommy to have another baby? Yeah. Do you want a boy baby or a girl baby? Uh, uh, oh, girl baby. A girl baby? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Would that be so exciting? Yeah. Yeah. I love you. Uh, yeah. Good morning. Stop. <laughs> it's transfer day. We're going to transfer <laughs> two embryos. Two embryos. He's so I'm sorry, future children. Okay. Let me show you what you're gonna Stop! do. <laughs> I We're gonna take that whole. Overall, transfer day went very well. We ended up getting the traditional McDonald's french fries afterwards to go with the old wives tales and then we were in the two week waiting game where we took home pregnancy tests to determine if we thought that this transfer was going to work. Today is 12 days post transfer and we have the results of the first beta HCG test. I'm hoping that the number is higher than 200, but technically any higher than one is positive, although we know we want it much higher than that. So, let's see. Congratulations to you. You are pregnant. Your number is beautiful at one thousand and fifty. Okay. Oh, 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 oh
I think there's probably two or three babies in there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. That's really <laughs> Can you open this? Can you open this? A thousand? <laughs> I think if it's over 500, I think that means there's two babies. Oh. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> we win. <laughs> Bye. Good morning. Today I am six weeks and four days um, pregnant and we have my first ultrasound today. So today we should figure out if there's one baby growing in there, if there's two babies, like hopefully we see at least one baby, but we did transfer two embryos. So there's a chance, I mean, there's a chance there's two, three, four plus, um, but we will find out hopefully how many babies are in there today. But if there's only one, like if we're only pregnant with one, to me, that's just like less stress because there are risks with twins. So I wouldn't be disappointed. I'll be happy as long as there's one, but we find out today. What do you think, Garrett? I think I'm excited. How many babies are there gonna be? At least six. <sighs> Here with a flash of red and blue is going. That's there because the heart's moving. And then making it big again. That little bloppy thing right there, that's the baby. And the little wink inside of it is heart motion. So baby, and next to baby, the circles you upset. The ultrasound confirmed our suspicions that there were two babies growing at the time of the blood tests. Um, that is why my HCG levels were so high. Unfortunately, one of the babies did not continue to develop, but we are blessed that we have one healthy growing baby. Um, the other sack is just empty, but you see it on the ultrasound. Um, but we have one healthy growing baby, so we can't really ask for more than that, and we are very grateful. There's one baby in there growing. It's not an embryo anymore. There's one baby. What? It's not an embryo. It's, not, it's, it's a fish. Okay. Yeah. There's your babies in there. Not the belly button of it. No. Not the belly button. Back there, and the heart fluttering. Right there. You and they say there's nothing. 